Hey everybody, as promised, I went to a German McDonald's for the first time. And of course I made this really difficult on myself because I've been hiking for the last four days. I haven't showered or anything, but I ran out of food yesterday trying to get to this McDonald's because I was so excited to get to it and I didn't make it to it. So I was so hungry last night, but I woke up this morning and they were serving lunch during breakfast. I was so thankful. I'm like, yes. Anyways, I ordered the biggest hamburger they had. It was like big, uh, steakhouse or something like that i'm terrible in german i am so sorry but anyways this is kind of what it looks like we got lettuce we got avocado two pieces of meat it looks like maybe mozzarella cheese bacon we got an egg right here and it looks like some type of red pepper or something on the bottom maybe spicy oops oh no look at a jalapeno right here anyways i wasn't really expecting something spicy but uh okay here we go Anyways, my expectations are so high because so many Germans told me that it tastes so much better than the United States. I'm going to be blown away. Anyways, my mouth is already starting to water right here. I, I'm like, I'm dying to try it here. Okay, so here we go. Oh my God. <laughs> that tastes amazing. Okay, now I'm feeling a little bit spicy though. Oh, wow. First bite, tons and tons of flavor. I'm loving the meat. Mm. 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 Okay. This burger was worth all the suffering in the world. Uh oh, car coming. Hello. <laughs> so I also, what I did is I didn't want to eat at the restaurant. So I kind of hiked away from it, found a table that as quiet as possible as I could. But the restaurant was so nice. I felt like VIP, they had a strap thing. You couldn't get in without signing in. And again, I don't really know German. So it was a little bit, I'm always a little bit nervous going in there because it's like, oh no, what if you get somebody who's really mean or they don't understand? Anyways, it was the most nicest person I've ever met in my life. It was a young man and he just like, oh yeah. You, I was like, he was just so happy to speak English to me. And he's like, let me know anything you help. He's like, I can help you. He's like, sign in. You have to give your address for COVID and everything like that. Wear your face mask in. Commando, you look like a bank robber when you go in. And it's all touch screen. So it was really easy. I just touched what I wanted. And then, yeah, I got a burger and I ended up getting some French fries, but I ate a couple on the way because yeah, I was starving to get here. And I would say they're about 20%, 30% less than what you would get in the United States. And when I tried them, I instantly, mm. yeah, they're definitely different than the, the McDonald's in the United States. I'd say Burger King and McDonald's had a baby. They would have these kind of French fries. So a little bit of cross between them because I feel like the United States are a little bit uh, thinner. And uh, I don't know. Those look pretty thin, though. I don't know. They just definitely seem like they taste a little different. Kind of reminds me a little bit of, like Burger King, though. But still like McDonald's, though, because it's thin. Anyways, back to the burger, though. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God, it is so awesome. I was really hoping to get here last night. I can't believe I di did that. If you calculate it, I maybe went like 40 hours without eating just because I was so wanting to hike to this McDonald's and it was like getting me motivated. I did, I have a really heavy backpack. I'm carrying my uh, laptop and everything. It's like, uh, it's, it's, it's really heavy. It, my laptop is extremely heavy and uh, so I did 25 kilometers yesterday on an empty stomach. Also, I was like, oh, I can get to McDonald's. But I think I had to do like 30 or something or 35 to get here. And it was totally worth it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So my one video where I said TV German thing was not a culture shock. I wasn't blown away by your German TV. Sorry. The McDonald's hamburger, 
I had such high expectations for it. I thought I was going to be extremely let down and disappointed because I put the expectations way too high. But no, this is the best McDonald's burger I've had in my entire life. And I love that they have an avocado and an egg in it and bacon with two pieces of meat. This is insane. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm already picturing what a gerbid would do though. They saw what the United States did with the hamburger and I see they said that we could do it better. <laughs> I can totally picture a gerbid saying that too and it's totally, that's totally a, a lot of attitude of the gerbids. It's like, we're going to do this and we can do it really amazing. And uh, oh, another car. <laughs> I always think like, oh yeah, they see him talking to himself. It's like, just move along, nothing to see here. Anyways, uh, yeah, so I love that a lot of gerbids have that thing where the confidence too that I'm impressed with it. Even your window system too. I was like, United States, it was so plain and simple. Germany's like, we can do it a lot better. Mmm. <laughs> oh my God. It may be because I haven't eaten in a while, so maybe I'm really biased, but this may be the best burger I've had in my entire life. Oh my God. Mm. Yeah, so these uh, jalapeno peppers aren't really spicy. They're kind of green, but red and it gives it a nice little kick but not really spicy just nice enough to make it taste really good mm. Mm. hello A wasp so i heard that killing a wasp is illegal in germany i don't know if that's true i got it from a reliable source so i can't hurt the wasp or i could be sent to jail i don't know but i want to look that up too is it really illegal to hurt a wasp oh no but how do i get them off my burger no no I'm so sorry. <laughs> and of course, I'm not going to edit this. It takes too much time, so I will just upload it and everything too. Mmm. Oh, well. I said something I didn't actually understand, but I said hello. Oh, this is important too. Mm -hmm. Oh, he has a garden behind me. I see what he's doing. Okay. So, that's really good. I wonder what he said. Maybe he said good morning. Gu Guten Morgen? Maybe? No, he said something else, though. So. Anyways, I'm still learning it. I think I got Guten Morgen down in Guten Tag. But, uh, I'm giving the McDonald's restaurant I went to five stars for hospitality. Again, the nicest person in the world helped me so much. And I was so impressed. Reading a few reviews of another McDonald's that was directly on trail that actually ended up being closed. So I had, had to hike to like two kilometers off trail to get to this one. Worth it though. But uh, I was reading some of the reviews and it said like, oh, it could be cleaner and stuff like that. And I was like... This thing was spotless and they were so nice and I don't know if people were being picky or they hired different people or what happened, but they were just the nicest people in the world. Food came out really fast and he just said anything I need to help with or anything like that, if I can't figure it out, how to use the touch screens. I've never used the touch screens before. He's like, let me know and stuff. So yeah, it's just incredible.
Those peppers at the bottom kind of remind me of like Greece or something. And Germans seem like they're really into Greek and Turkish food too. So nice touch with the avocado though and the egg. Mm. This spot maybe not it was the most secluded spot in the world, but I think I give an accurate review. This is one of the most amazing, if not the most amazing burger I've had in my entire life. Mm. It's incredible. Let me try a few french fries too. Mm. So this runs about 8 euros, which is... I think with the french fries, it was about 8 euros. And uh, french fries, no drink or anything. And that's about 10 US dollars. So, so it kind of was a little expensive. I mean, I think that's a really good price for the burger, though. So much was put into it and so much love and everything. Everything tastes really good, really fresh. So I absolutely love it. All right, so I'm going to start closing it up here but if you found this video interesting comment down below let me know what else you would like to see i would gladly do it i'm just basing it on comments if you all did not comment that i had to try a mcdonald's i would never have gotten mcdonald's by the way but you told me i had to try it thank you so much for the advice so let me know if there's something else you want me to try and i'll try to do it and uh definitely hit like and subscribe and see what crazy things i'm doing <laughs> Oh no, it sounds like the purge. Ah, okay, I'm gonna let you go. This is a little bit freaky. Ah.